We're getting a very positive uh, response. Uh, we're very, very hopeful that people will come out. We're very strong local government representation. We want to continue our mandate and our work in local councils. And we also want to continue our work of equality, of the whole process of change at the Assembly. So I'm appealing for people right across the six counties. And you know, a lot of Republican and Nationalist people have noticed the good fortunes of the party. 14 TDs and just last week three senators and the senators will be here tomorrow canvassing uh, with us. So you'll follow that example and come out and vote for Sinn Féin. Do you see this as another opportunity to increase your domination over uh, the SDLP? Are the SDLP your main target here? Well, I don't see us as dominating anyone, I have, I have to say. We're, we're about a process of change. Other parties can join us in that. You know, one of the successes of the last four years has been that we have had a joined-up government. You know, some elements of that, like the SDLP, are prepared to sit and take up the benefits of executive positions while campaigning and whinging about the executive. Sinn Féin isn't about that, we're about positivity, we're about the future, we have great hope in our people, we want to continue the work that we're about and we would call upon everyone to join us in that. Jerry Adams, some people say this has been a long, a too long campaign, the voters are fatigued by the six week election. Well, I, you know, the, the media have, have a strange uh, attitude and I, I mean this in the kindest way possible. It's, it's one of the very few instances that I know of where in the course of an election campaign there's a limitation put upon political analysis, political investigation, political debate and political uh, discussion. I don't see, see any sense, certainly in where I've been campaigning and I've been up and down the six counties, I don't see any sense at all of fatigue. Not at all. I think that people uh, will come out and vote, but because we have set our sights so high and because we all the time want to make the very, very best, of, a, of an election. We're asking people to make the effort to vote strongly for local government representation by our party and also to send a renewed, reinvigorated and hopefully an increased team back to Stormont. And Peter Robinson this morning, I asked him, would his party be willing to accept uh, Martin McGuinness as a first minister if uh, your party got the most uh, seats? Uh, he said that uh, his party are Democrats, but what is required is that nationalists must have a majority in Northern Ireland. So effectively, it would appear, he then went on to say his policy was the same as at St. Andrews. So even if your party came out on top, he'd go back to the government. Well, I haven't heard those remarks, not some matter for uh, Peter. Uh, our focus is on Sinn Féin's agenda. The only reason why we want increased uh, support, the only reason why we want more seats, why we want more votes, is because we're about equality. We're about a process of very positive uh, change. And we want a new mandate to do that. And, and we're saying to people, look at our record. Look at what we, we've been able to achieve. Despite all the odds, there are many people who, on, on the margins and those indeed at the center of politics here, who said that the changes that have been brought about were not possible. Some said it wasn't possible to do some of the things that we have done in a political lifetime. That's been achieved. It's good for people. There are big challenges in terms of the economy. There are big challenges in terms of poverty. There are big challenges in terms of sectarianism. From our point, point of view, they need to continue the work towards Irish unity. All of that needs endorsed. The people have their opportunity to have their say, and we're asking them to come out and vote for us. Jay, have you established your ministerial priorities yet? Uh, no, we haven't, and we, we think it's a bit presumptuous for, for any party to be setting their stall out even before one single vote has been cast. When the votes are counted, we'll obviously consult and talk this out, and then we'll go forward with whatever we think the priorities best suit the mandate that we have been given. Martin McGuinness has twice in his campaign said he wants, he's interested in health, education and the economic portfolio. That's fair enough. I have no objection to any of that. Uh, the question I was asked was if our party set out our priorities. Our party has not yet set out our priorities. The LCU News are saying that this is a DUP, Sinn Féin, cosy consensus uh, attempting to sleepwalk the electorate into effectively no change. Well, again, you know, we're, we're here on a positive campaign. I, I don't have an awful lot of space in my life for negativity. You know, I just think it doesn't do anybody uh, any good. Let these parties stand on their Iraq court. The voters have judged them on their accord thus far. Oh, I leave it to the voters to judge them on their accord this time around and to judge us on our accord.